And today we're making a whiskey smoker. We're using some uh, wood here, some cherry. Got my butane torch. And pretend this is whiskey, a little bit of ice. Have my smoker on top. About 20 seconds is all you need. Let it sit and take it off. And there you go. Cheers. Hi and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at using the CNC to build a uh, whiskey smoker that will be used to give away as gifts or for upcoming craft shows. So one of the first things I did is I like to model my items out in the software. I'll check it out into the simulation. But then I go ahead and I make something similar out of a cheaper material like MDF. And you can see here that the first one wasn't so great. Uh, my smoke stack here was a little bit short. Also, the lid was just a little bit off. So I went back to the drawing board and made the adjustments in the software. My second prototype came out a lot better. Smokestack is larger, it's taller, the lid fits on there nicely, and everything seems to work. So next I move into production. So in the beginning, from version one and version two made of MDF, I used a quarter inch down cut bit and also a one eighth bit to get the lip around. Um, the lid itself was used just a quarter inch down cut bit, so that was fine. But after a little bit of time and production, I wanted to get down the bit changes so that I only had one bit. So I went back to the drawing board and on my fourth version, I was able to get rid of the one eighth bit and just make the tool path a little bit easier to cut out this one eighth lip here. And so I did that in the software and now I can run the lid and the base in one fell swoop with uh, one bit and then just let it go. Having a CNC too, um, I find that always the first, second, and third product is usually always a work in progress. Uh, and then when you get into the third, the fourth project, that's when the things start to click and you start to make, okay, version one, version two, but they're good enough to start selling um, and go down that line. So sometimes even though you measure with calipers, you won't get make it all the way through your material here. You can see here that my smoke hole still has a little bit of uh, material left and the outside contours aren't uh, cut out yet. So all you have to do is go back into your software, disable all the tool paths except for the ones you want to edit a little bit and just add what in this case I just added a tenth of an inch and I'll go ahead and do that now. So what I'll go and open the file in the software, load it back up, go to the tool paths, and then I'll make sure that all the other two paths that I don't need are disabled. And then I'll go into each of the tool paths that I do need, the smoke hole and the contours, and then provide a uh, little extra depth there to make sure I cut out the item. Now, I would also recommend the starting depth is the last uh, finishing depth and then it'll make the job go a little bit quicker. And now what you'll do is save changes, go back to your job info, reload the file, all the zeros and everything should be already set up so you don't need to reset those and go ahead and then you hit start job and you see it's 14 minutes here but if you change the beginning numbers, it's actually less than a minute. So that's why I go ahead and do that. And then I go ahead and hit start job. So what I use to hold the workpiece down is screws in each of the corners and I screw that to my waste board. And then I also use blue painters tape to hold the backside down. Because there's such a large surface area on these whiskey smokers, the blue tape does a spectacular job of holding this down. You can see here that it takes a little bit of time to wiggle it up. And get it up but when it comes up it's it's all good and 
get the base out and it's it's pretty stuck down there it's actually taking quite a bit of force to get it up and there you go so now that you have the product and you want to start selling it uh, so I have craft fairs and I'm in a few stores now and after a little bit of time you find out you can't just market this as is online maybe but in person it really doesn't lend itself to selling so what you have to do or what I did is I'll get a box I have these uh, mailing boxes I fill them with a, a little bit of crushed paper I put in some wood chips to get them started and then I also include some replacement screens and with the smoker the box all you do is fold it up and then it's ready to go you can give this drop this in the mail give this to a customer in person they can wrap it they can put a bow on it and it's ready to go